Hey guys, what's up? It's AppOSX here, and today I will be doing my top 5 city apps for the iPad for the month of October. So let's go ahead and jump right into it with number 1, which is iFile, which I cannot believe that I have not uh, done in a top 10 before because it is definitely well deserving of being in one of the, or the top 5, definitely well deserving for being in there. So basically what it is, is it is a complete file manager for the iPhone, iPod Touch, and iPad. As you can see here, I can go into different various folders and view all the images, plist, and stuff like that. So it's really great for, uh, it can be very helpful if something's wrong with your iDevice. You can go ahead and, you know, change something in here, delete sources, whatever it is, it's very helpful. So it's basically OpenSSH without, um, without the need for WinSCP on your computer. So it's a really cool application. You can have shortcuts as your home, your applications. Uh, you can even turn the application names on. So if we go ahead and do that, as you can see, it automatically renames it so you don't have to go through each different folder and stuff like that. So those are just a couple features of iFile, but um, definitely go ahead and check that out. Uh, my next application is InfiniBoard. As you can see, Infinite Board allows you to have as many icons up and down as you'd like with vertical scrolling. So as you can see, all I have is one page, but I have all my icons on that page because I can scroll up and down. It's really cool. As many You can have as many icons as you'd like, or you can have multiple pages with up and down. And I'll go ahead and show you some of the settings it has here really quickly. As you can see, it has vertical scrolling, scrolling bounce, top on exit, and stuff like that. So it's definitely a really cool tweak in Cydia. I believe it's $199. Go ahead and check that out. Okay, our next application is Activator. Activator um, alone is still a really cool application, although it's used for a lot of other applications. So let's go ahead and make some... I'll go ahead and show you something that's really cool. Um, let's go ahead and go to Status Bar. And we're going to do Hold. And we're going to change it to do something like... Let's go ahead and say when we touch and hold the Status Bar... We want it to. We want it to launch App Shopper, and if we want, when we swipe down from the, when we swipe down from the status bar, let's say we want it to lock the device, and let's say if we want to swipe left on the status bar, we want it to take a screenshot. So those are just a couple of things. So I'll go ahead and show you all them right now. So if I tap and hold. Just like that, it opens up App Shopper. Really cool. So let's go ahead and show you the swipe to the left. And as you can see, it takes a screenshot. So there's a ton of really cool options. And if you have SB settings installed, you can uh, turn off and on toggles without even needing to open up SB settings. So definitely check out Activator. Really, really cool application and tweak. So let's go ahead and go to number four, and that is G Power Pro. Basically what it does is if you hold the power button right here and you have your lock thing, you have slide to power off, slide to reboot, and slide to respring. So we could power it off or we could just respring, which is what we're going to do right now. Just go ahead and let it respring. As you can see, it resprung and we're back to normal. So as you, you can activate it via multiple ways, via activator, or you can just leave it by uh, holding the status bar, which is by default and has that cool animation that kind of slides in. Number five is Mark Red. Um, this application is really, really useful if you have a lot of emails that are unread or read, whatever you'd like to do. So if we go ahead and go here, we have two emails that, let's say I have a thousand, but I just have two in this email account. And we're gonna hit edit, and we're gonna hit these two, we're gonna hit mark. So we can mark these as unread or read. So let's go ahead and mark them as read and it marks both those applications as red. So it's definitely really helpful if you're trying to get through a bunch of app, uh, a bunch of emails that you don't want to read or you've already know what they're saying, uh, scam, whatever it is, it's definitely helpful and you can even mark multiple emails as unread in case you want to uh, be reminded to look at those later. So mark red is really cool. I think it's also 99 or 199 in the city of store and it's a really cool application. So that's it for my top five Cydia apps for the month of October for iPad. Hope you like this video. If so, give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe somewhere up there. 
Follow me on Twitter at Apo6, and thanks for watching.